Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick, we're on the ZX Spectrum 48Ks, we quite often are on a Saturday at time of recording, and we're looking at Vegetable Crash, yes, what the hell is this? Well, it's a, it's a Galaxian clone, but instead of aliens, wait for it, you're fighting vegetables, yes, um, it's what you've all been waiting for. Published by Kumar Computers in 1984, um, I do know a cheat for Infinite Lies, but we probably won't um, use it. It's on the keyboard only, and I can only fear what's going to happen here. So we've got this ship. On the bottom left is how many lives we've got left. Um, points for shooting tomatoes, and um, whatever those other things are. Radishes, I think. Uh, oh, that was a bit unfair. I regenerated and died again. You've got three lives each time, and you fire forks at the enemy. Exciting, eh? No, it's terrible. But anyway, we'll keep playing. Now, I have already reviewed Galaxian on the Spectrum. It was in 1984, the same year as this. And a couple of years later, there was an unofficial um, port of Galaxian called Galaxians by Arctic Computers. Uh, both of them um, were not quite as colourful as this. This is a game of sorts, but it is pretty basic. As a kid, I probably would have played it once or twice and never played it again. Let's just try and concentrate on shooting one lot of aliens. The likelihood is that you've never ever ever heard of this game. Have you? Let me know if you have done. And if it was your favourite game of all time, well um, obviously you must really like vegetables. What is your favourite vegetable shooting game? Yeah, now I do like the star field in the background, which is great, but why then put up a fleet of vegetables? Why bother with a star field if you're going to put vegetables in? I can only guess... Now, sometimes I would guess that it's something to do with copyright or licensing, but in 1984, I don't think anyone was that bothered. There was lots of clones of everything back then, so maybe they just thought that was being a bit funny or a bit different. As soon as you destroyed the fleet, you get another fleet of vegetables in space. Uh, I, I don't think a vegetable would last very long in space, would it? Especially not a tomato, or a radish, or a beetroot, or whatever it's supposed to be. The top row looks like a strawberry of some description. It's taken off and flying at me, as the strawberries often do. Yeah, I'm bored already, but we'll keep playing it to some uh, distance. I'm firing forks at them in yellow, and it looks like they're firing forks at me in green. Um, my starship isn't a vegetable. Uh, I don't know what it is, it's a spaceship, and we get points for each one we take down. I recently reviewed Galaxians on, uh, or Galaxian on the Atari 2600, which was brilliant, sounds are okay. Um, as a Spectrum shooter goes, it's definitely a bit of retro history, but a bit of retro history I don't think many people would have seen, uh, unless they've got lost somewhere and taken a very odd side turn. But the ZX Spectrum does has quite a lot of curios, and now and again we'll bump into them. Um, hopefully we not bump into a lot of them in a row. Not the worst game in the world, it's competent at what it's doing, but it's just very basic and um, limited and boring. But one could say, uh, Killjoy could say, that Glaxion is a bit like that anyway. Is it recreating Glaxion? Well, sort of. Um, is it a bit slow? Yes. But the Starfield is brilliant. I'm a big fan of that. It's well coded, but it's just not doing that much. Let's start a conversation about vegetables. Now, is a strawberry a vegetable? Hmm. Is a tomato a fruit? It all gets a bit confusing. I mean, they haven't used too many uh, vegetables here, have they, really? Just about three different types. They could have had a carrot or, um, uh, Nick, think of some other vegetables. A swede. What about a cauliflower of doom? That would have been good as the mothership coming in the end. Or a massive pumpkin with a face on it. Now that would have been super cool. Surely once you destroyed all the um, vegetables they could have put a massive pumpkin coming in. Or a killer turnip or something. They really could have gone to town on this if they were doing a joke sort of game. But they've just given up on the first screen. Uh, yeah. It's sort of like um, they've all gone into a room, all the coders, and say, right, I'll do the programming, you do the graphics, I won't check what the graphics are like, I'll just trust that you are going to do spaceships, don't mess this up. And he said, yeah, okay, I, you're not going to do vegetables, are you? No, I definitely won't do vegetables. Are you sure? Because if you do a fleet of vegetables, we'll be made to look stupid. Well, I, I definitely won't do that then, okay. Off it goes to the publishers, it goes on the shelf, people buy it, well, maybe one or two people buy it, and um, 
uh, its vegetables all the way. Now I don't recall seeing any sci-fi films where the Earth's been attacked by vegetables. If you know one, then let me know, but I doubt you're going to find one. There's Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, I bet you was already thinking that before I just mentioned it, but that is it. Yeah, it's the same fleet every time. Uh, nothing's going to vary too much here. I'm just trying to weave my way in between the firing. We may get an extra life every so often, but that's uh, no. A trip to the supermarket would be much more exciting now after this when you know what potentially can happen with, with your weekly grocery shopping. If you're interested in a poke, if you're playing this for infinite lives, it's 34484,183. But I'm not typing it in because there's no way I want to be playing this all day without dying. Sometimes it's a pleasure to die on games like this. Do check out my review a long, long time ago, Galaxian in 1984 by Atari Soft and Galaxian in 82 by Arctic Computing, so you can compare the two together. This isn't a great deal worse than any of those, but I do prefer those other two. Um, yeah, if you're a little bit crazy, you might get into this for a while. Hasn't had any modern day remakes that I'm aware of. I mean, they could have done a whole lot. They could have done Space Invaders with vegetables. They could have gone right down the, the whole lot. Beam Rider, Missile missile Command. Hmm. Yeah, we sort of like know the gameplay now, don't we? There's not too much more I can say about this other than asking what's your favourite tomato and have you got an excellent run of bean story. But you probably haven't got any top vegetable stories. I don't want to prejudge. You might have a brilliant vegetable story involving a time where you was almost hit on the head with a marrow but narrowly avoided it. Um, I'd like to own the movie rights to that one, but I, yeah, I don't think I could afford it. It must be worth absolute billions. Sounds are good on this one, did I mention that? It moves okay, it's not flickering at all, there's no colour clash whatsoever. Best bit is by far the Starfield, I would say. 10 out of 10 for the Starfield, let's not mention anything else. It's not a disaster of a game, it's doing a lot of things well. It just comes together as a bit of a, a curio, a bit of a weird one. Bit of a weird one like um, Jet Set Willy and Crap Invaders was. Um, Super Crap Invaders involved Jet Set Willy. Do have a look at that if you haven't already. Um, I have reviewed it. Jet Set Willy walking on the bottom of the screen shooting at Space Invaders. That is a weird one as well. Right, we'll make this my last goal. Maybe. We know it's going to be the same fleet each time, the same set of vegetables coming at us. We're going to destroy them. Vegetables will eventually overrun the entire Earth. No, this isn't Planet of the Apes, this is Planet of the Vegetables. Yeah. Okay, I'm not sure how many people have reviewed this. Um, probably not many. And if they have reviewed it, I doubt they'll be playing it as long as I have done. I don't know if that gets me an award or anything. Probably gets me um, committed or sectioned. Hooray! I could do being sectioned, the time to recover. Excellent. It's not a good thing to have in your CV though, is it? Yeah, I, there was a gap in my CV, those couple of years I was sectioned and then I got a job as a brain surgeon. Anyway, I think I will leave that one there, we've seen we've all we can possibly see. Hope you liked having a look at that, that was Vegetable Crash, published by Kumar Computers in 1984. Um, if you've got any comments about this game, similar games or other weird curios, then let me know. A huge thank you to everyone that's subscribed so far, that's really helping the channel push forward. If you want to help with the channel a bit more, there's patreon.com slash njenkin. Thank you again to people that have used that. That is really helping me push forward. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.